Hello and welcome to MusePen.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn on how to pin element or objects in a phone or tablet layout. Uh, let me first of all show you what exactly I'm talking about. So if we talk about this page, uh, this page has a menu navigation at the top. We can call it, let's say, uh, let's call it header. So there is a header and if I scroll down, it shows the list of various widgets that we have. But if you scroll down a bit more, you would observe that the whole page is scrolling behind this header that was there in the top. So that header is actually pinned. Uh, let me show you what exactly is that. If you look at select any element from that, okay, we, actually it was part of a master page. So let's open the master page and if you select any, any element, you would observe that it has been pinned to the top. Similarly with this uh, menu. It is pinned and the rectangle at the back that is giving it the shape of a uh, header so it is pinned so this option gives you the ability to do that but if you go to a phone layout and try to pin an element you would find that this option is grayed out so but um, I'm sure you would like to have this kind of behavior on a phone layout also when you preview it and scroll it the header should stay like this so how do we do that? As the option is not there, so there has to be a way to do that. So um, here is what we have. Uh, let me just open a file that is not completed so that I can show you how to do it. So let's open another file where we have not applied this. So if you look at this file, everything is pinned and if we preview it, scrolls down but if we go to the phone layout and try to preview the page if we scroll it it goes off so it do not stay so how do we enable this feature how do we pin the header very simple uh, we just need to select all the elements that you want to be pinned then go to the scroll effect panel let me just show it to you yeah so go to the scroll effects panel, make sure that the scroll effect for the motion is activated and all these values has to be 0. By default it would be blank and it would be 1. So you need to make sure this is 0, this is 0 pixel and the final motion is 0. Once you have applied it like that, go ahead and preview your page and you would observe that the item has been pinned. So this in this way you can place your item anywhere and it would stay at that position. Uh, let me show you another example. Let's say I do not want it to be pinned here. I want to pin here. Okay. Now again I need to make some changes. So it is right now located at these locations. So Sorry, let's we just need to select the element. So this element is like this and make the value to zero. Now if we preview it, stay right over there. So wherever we want to place it, just put it like that. And it would open the element. So this is all we have for you in this video tutorial. If you want to learn more things about it, follow our other video tutorials. And if you do not find anything and you want us to explain that, send us an email on contact at newspan.com and we would be more than happy to help you. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.